This is M42 Orion, and you're looking at a processed image which I have exported out of PixInsight, and I'm in GIMP, and you can see here that I, during the process, didn't blow out the core, but the trapezium of stars here has got some weird stuff going on because you can't actually see the stars. What you see is sort of funny purpley pink squiggly stuff which I don't want. I don't want purpley pink squiggly stuff but this is where the trapezium is. In fact they are the stars there. So something went wrong but this is okay. I'm not worried because I also took the trapezium with some shorter exposures. So I've got the trapezium here. Now I want to combine the core here with the core here which is too bright. So what I'm going to do is just zoom out a little bit and I've got them on two layers. So where my head is, which I'm going to move, so here I've got two, two layers just here that you can see. So I've got the processed image of the shorter duration exposures behind my head. So I'll move again. In fact, I'm going to put me there for now. And then I've got the longer exposures, which is fully processed to get the outsidey bits, although it's a little bit oversaturated. But the core isn't very good because it's got these funny sort of pinky, purpley, blobby things. So what I want to do is align these two together. So on this one here, you can see I've got opacity. And if I drag the opacity down, you will hopefully be able to see the second Orion appear behind, which you can can, and you can see that if I select the second Orion just there, I can then move it around with that cross there. I can actually move it around, and you see that. So I'm now moving the top layer around. What I want to do is align it with the bottom layer. So I'm going to just drag it down and plunk it on top. Now these were taken at slightly different times of the evening and you can see there's a slight bit of rotation. So I just need to grab the rotation tool and then I need to just rotate it. You can see now I'm rotating around the axis there. So I just want to rotate it slightly. Just there. And then go back to my alignment tool And just align those stars. So that's pretty close. So you can now see if I go across with the opacity. So we're now looking fully at the bottom layer. And I'm now going to go to the top layer. So we're only now looking at the top layer. So what I now need to do is create a layer mask so that I can basically color in this area just here. So let's move my head out of the way to somewhere less irritating, such as there. And we're now going to select the top layer. So we want to go to layer and then mask and then add layer mask. And we want the mask to be inverted. So we want it black with full transparency and invert the mask. And then we click add. And you can see we've now got a white mask which is there. What we now need to do is select our color. So we want black in this case and click OK. We want the paintbrush tool. Now you can see the paintbrush there is quite big. So I'm just going to make it a tiny bit smaller. It's a bit better because this is the area I want to paint in and I don't want it very hard and I don't want it to be very forceful. And what I'm going to do now is just zoom in a bit so we can see the area that we're working on, which is just there, those sort of pinky purpley bits. Go back to our paintbrush. So we've got our paintbrush. And I now want to paint onto the mask. So I make sure I'm on the mask. And then let's paint out this area of pinky purpley bits. And as if by magic, the magic of photograph editing. 
there we go. And let's kind of blend that in a bit around. So our pinky purpley bits have now vanished and we've got the layer underneath showing through, which is a bit weird. So if I now turn off the bottom layer, that's the bit that we've just painted in, which is all hashy because there's literally nothing below that layer. And then if I turn on the layer, magic. And we've now got the trapezium in the middle there of those lovely four stars, which is the bit that we all want in Orion um, and we all strive to get. But let's face it, uh, astrophotography is cheating, as I've just demonstrated. So there we go. I'm now going to zoom out a bit. And that is pretty much my finished image ready for me to export. So I've fixed the little doodah sort of pinky purpley bit in the middle. And uh, I'm going to now export this and probably tweak the colors because it's a bit oversaturated. It's a bit too red. It's kind of in your face. But this is my final image of Orion with the pinky purpley bits removed.